Another example that you may see with a PPF is military goods and consumer goods or guns and butter. And helper monkeys. There are no helper monkeys contributing to this PPF. All right. Now, it's the same basic principle. Um, you would not expect to have a straight line PPF because you have increasing opportunity costs as you move uh, through the curve. Um, but if you are closer to this axis, you're producing more military goods. If you're closer to this axis, you're producing more civilian goods. Um, but you may hear it expressed as goods and butter, military and civilian. That's another one you might see. What you usually see with a PPF are two uh, pretty incompatible products. Something technological and something agricultural would be typical. So if we did, or something that's a food product and something that's technological. Um, an example that I've seen used before, pizzas and robots. And again, with pizzas and robots, you would expect the curve not to be a straight line because you don't use the same resources with pizzas and robots. Now, if, however, you had two goods that were fairly comparable, which you probably won't see, but this would be one way to check to see if you really understand why the curve is drawn the way it is. If we replaced this with two agricultural goods, let's say corn and soybeans, for example, Since they're using a lot of the same resources, the same types of technology, maybe the same fertilizers, the same machines, you would not expect to have your curve look like this. Instead, it would be more likely to be a straight line, which does not imply that there is no opportunity cost, but a constant opportunity cost. It's going to be the rate of trade-off between one good and the other is going to be the same because the slope is the same. If the slope is not the same down the curve, you've got increasing opportunity cost. If you have a constant slope, then you have a constant opportunity cost. Remember, opportunity cost means your next best alternative. What are you giving up to produce this level of corn and soybeans? talking about the difference between the intercept, where we are producing only one product, and a point somewhere on the curve, and we have just given up this much corn to produce this many soybeans. That's what it means as we move along the curve. Each endpoint, each intercept means it's 100% one or 100% of the other. That would be all I would expect you to have to deal with with 